Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Professor Sam Norgard. As an ambassador for International Bead Week, I'm initiating an international project titled Black and White Together. You can hear more about us by listening to my introduction video, session one video, and the campaign video for session one. Thank you for joining us today to see what the Black and White Together project team has been up to. This is session two of the Black and White Together project. Today we learn our 2-1 stripe pattern. We will view these on Dawn Peterson's graphic designs and on Carol Garrity's word charts. They are numbers three and six. What I'd like to do now is just to share my screen so that you can follow along with me as we go through my documents. Okay, let's get started with session two. If you're not familiar with warp squares and need a bit more complete introduction, please watch our session one where I discuss the form and carefully review Julia Predel's wonderful animation. Once you learn the form, I am sure you will find it very easy to create our patterns. For an overview of the patterns, Professor Dawn Peterson has created diagrams. Today, we're learning patterns three and six. On your screen now, you should be able to see the eight patterns that Dawn has laid out for us. See them numbered at the top, here's number three, and here's number six. Pattern six starts with black, and pattern three starts with white. To explain this pattern in words, you simply think about our name for the pattern, two one stripe. Pattern six starts with black, do two rounds of black, then one round of white, and repeat until the 12 round square is completed. For pattern three, just switch the black and white. In other words, start with white, do two rounds of white, and one round of black. So now you've got it, the two one pattern. Repeat that until you finish your warp square. Here's diagrams individually of number three. And if you like to work from a diagram, you could just stop the bit video here, put it on pause and beat away following the diagram. You can see that it, number three, pattern three, starts with four white beads. The next round is also white beads. And then the next round is black. Again, that two one pattern two white, one black, two white, one black, two white, one black, two white, one black, and you're done. Dawn has also made us a pattern for number six. So again, I have it up on the screen here, but you could pause the video and just follow along. I hope these are helpful. If you prefer to work from a word chart, Beater Carol Garrity, who is one of the members of, of our team, has created word charts for those that prefer to learn that way. And here you have a complete write-up for the warped square three. Again, just pause your video if you prefer to work with a word chart and you can just follow along. Carol has also created a word chart for warp square six. Okay, again, feel free to pause the video and that'll give you those diagrams or charts um, still so that you can, you can follow along easily. Okay, where to mail your warp squares? Mail to IBW Black and White Together Project, 74 Baroni Lane, Hilton Head, South Carolina, 29928, USA. Include the maker's name, email address, and country of origin. We want to be able to represent everybody uh, once the piece is finished. If you have questions, 
send them to beatercarol at gmail.com. Now, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'll show you the model that I've made in larger beads and I'll um, demonstrate uh, get, getting you started up and running on pattern six, warp square, black start, striped the two one warp square. Okay, let me just stop sharing. Hi. Okay, uh, I'm gonna tilt the camera down and here you can see the warp squares made out of the size 11 delicas. You can use any finish, just black and white. Um, what we're learning about is the percentage mix of black and white determines how the eye reads value. So we actually read this as moving from a light value to a darker and darker value until we arrive at black. And the, the percentage mix between the amount of white and the amount of black is what helps you accomplish that, that value shift. Okay, I'm gonna move these off. And here um, I've made uh, two of the forms that um, sh show you uh, different patterns. And if you squint, you can more easily see that this value reads a little bit lighter than this value. And this is the piece that we're working on today. So you can see that it starts with black in the center, two rounds of black, one white, two rounds of black, one white. So I will get us up and running. Um, you can use any kind of thread that you like. About a yard and a half will help you complete an entire, an entire square. I'm using um, black so you can see it easily. And I, I uh, have it on a cone here. This is a thread that was introduced to me by the wonderful Kate McKinnon. And um, it is a, a Nymo um, thread. There's the bottom in case you'd like to see that. Okay, so I've got my needle threaded. I'm, I just have a short throw of thread for the demonstration because it'll make it easier for me to work with it on camera. But you would be wanting to have that, um, you know, approximate yard and a half. Uh, we're going to start with black, as our model shows us, putting four beads on. I use, usually leave about a six inch tail. You can use a stop bead if you like. I don't, um, don't for this. Put four beads on, go through all four beads again. drawing them into somewhat of a circle or a square, and then go through that first bead one more time to, to completely draw the circle together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a knot the way Franklin has shown me. Shout out to Franklin. Um, placing my needle in through the center of the beads. It'll make a loop and then just put your needle through that loop and then you have a half hitch right there. And if you are having trouble um, with, with your, your tension, you can, um, you can do that half hitch after each round. It'll just lock in the tension of the, the previous, previous um, area of construction. All right, I, I like to get away from my knot, so I, um, I do move one bead forward, and now I'm ready for the next round. And round two is placing two beads in the corners. So 
because this is the two one stripe, we're doing black again for our second round. And here I am placing black in the corners. When your form starts to warp, you do want to encourage that and um, you know don't don't try to flatten it out. You don't need to do that with warp squares. And here we go. We're finishing up this round, placing two black beads on top of the two black beads in the previous row. And then I'm going to step up all at once. So I'm now prepped to start round three. We've done our, we're doing our two one stripe. So we've got two rows of black and now we need to go to the one of white. In our corners, we place two white beads on top of two black beads. The form has now expanded so that we have one space in the side that we have to peyote stitch a white bead. In other words, that white bead is in between the two twins. And now twins again on top of white twins on top of black twins. There we go. And then one white bead in between the two black twins. So it's always two beads in the corners and single beads in the gaps on the side. Once you do a few of these, you're gonna love them. And uh, hopefully you will love them. And we'll also love them and leave them as you send them to us. We're very excited about the project. And the project is filled with possibility. And that possibility really is up to you. And what we get from beaters around the world is what will determine what we are able to build with. So hope that you can send us some of your squares. And there we have our round three. And I think that'll get you up and running. My next round will be black, two rounds of black, then a single white, two black, single white, until you're all finished. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's session and I, I look forward to hearing from you and hopefully even meeting some of you in our final Zoom meeting. All right, well, this is Sam Norgard. Bye from Savannah, Georgia.